Yo, Jeff. Yes, that's me. Where are you? I'm over here. What are you doing, man? Why are you sitting with such bad posture? Why don't you face the TV if you're watching TV? Why is your windpipe sticking out? <laughs> okay, what's up, guys? I'm here with Jeff, and he struggles with headaches, stiff upper back, stiff neck, constant pain, and nerve pinching down his spine. This is due to suboccipital joints that get tight. The muscles around the joint get tight and this whole suboccipital region is right here under the base of the skull attaches to the atlas and this is responsible for moving your head and when you've got this bad posture and this compression from sitting funny and looking down at your phone and stretching and it spasms this all compresses the spine the c1 all the way to c7 they all compress and this causes a lot of issues, a lot of headaches, a lot of upper back pain, stiffness in the neck. So what I want to show you today is a few different stretches you can do and a few different movements that's really going to help you. You ready? Yes, excellent! <laughs> the first stretch we're going to do is lengthen the suboccipital joint, lengthen the spine a little bit. And the easiest way to do this, clasping your hands together, the top of your hand here, is gonna go under the base of your skull and the other side of your hand is gonna push on your trap. So you're basically creating this spacer and when you're leaning back now, it's gonna create a little bit of a lengthening effect and stretch everything open and give you a lot of pressure release in that area. So clasp your hands together, put it on the base of your skull, just find the, the nice positioning and rest it onto your traps and you'll feel that when you lean back, you'll get to a point where your neck doesn't want to go any further. So you don't want to be forcing it. You just want to slightly tilt back until it's comfortable and just relax and just breathe into it. And you'll feel that it lengthens. You'll feel an instant pressure release. And you can hold that for about 40 seconds. Relax. Do another set. You can do three or four sets of those. And you'll see over time, the next few days, if you do this on a daily basis, you'll find that that pressure gets less and less and you open up all those nerve endings in your neck. Second stretch you can do is grabbing the base of your skull again from behind you and you're gonna be pulling up. So that just lengthens <laughs> the base of your skull again, the suboccipital region, and pulling up and forward because this is gonna lengthen that whole area, it's gonna lengthen the trap muscle, it's gonna lengthen all the little muscles around the base of your skull. It's gonna help you with the headaches and the looseness of your neck. So what you wanna do is take your opposite hand, so take your right hand, grab the left side of the base of your skull, just find where it is, you'll feel the muscle there, you'll feel the base of your skull, and keep a neutral posture. Make sure your posture is always good at all times when doing this. And you wanna look down to the right. So I'm gonna turn, look down to the right, and just gently pull up with your hand. So you're not gonna force it, you just want to gently pull and you'll feel that stretch all the way down into your trap. So you're going to hold it here for a few seconds, 20 to 30 seconds, hold it, relax. You can do two or three sets of that. Do the other side, left hand to the right side, look down to the left and slightly pull. So you're just pulling up and away, it's just very slightly. You're not going to really pull hard, you're just slightly pulling to give that pressure. So you're pulling, and as you pull, and you'll feel it shoots right down into your trap, you'll feel that entire muscle lengthening. Two or three sets, 30 seconds. Combine this with the first stretch we did, and you'll feel a lot more mobility. 